Hi, I'm David Chandler. I'm the manager of the Perth branch of the Australian Genome Research Facility. About 20 years ago, I studied a family with a disease called hemifacial microsomia. At the time, and still, it is the largest family in the world with this disease, which causes malformation of one side of the face. With the technology that we had available to us, we managed to map the presence of the gene down to a small segment of DNA, 14 million base pairs long. That was as far as we could get, and we published that information in an international journal. I'm Professor Nigel Lang. I'm now one of the group leaders in the Harry Perkins Institute of Medical Research. But 20 years ago, I was one of the supervisors of David's PhD. Wonderfully, last year, we were contacted by Professor Andrew Timberlake from Yale University, saying that he felt that he'd identified the gene in the region of the chromosome that uh, David had identified all those years ago for this condition, hemifacial microsomia. He asked if we could analyze DNA from the, the West Australian family for variants in the gene that he'd identified. Wonderfully, uh, the pathways still had DNA from the family. They analyzed the gene and found a variant very similar to the ones that Professor Timberlake had identified in his families. So now, 20 years after David's work, we know the gene that causes hem hemifacial microsomia and patients and families all around the world can have the gene analyzed, can be confirmed to have the condition, and then make reproductive decisions based on that knowledge. It's a great result after this length of time.